Marquette Devon Burton, the saint and the sinner, giving you lessons from our pimp. Folks, today I want to talk to you about how to never give up. And in this life, you will be challenged with a great many things. You will have your hopes rise up only to be brought down and shattered. And the question is, will you give up? And if you persist, why? So the first thing you need is mindset. And you have to have a mindset of expectation. You should expect good things, but you should also expect bad things, right? You should expect that you will have challenges. People will get in your way. There will be roadblocks. You will be tested with sickness, ill health, lack of wealth, and all these different things during your lifetime. The best way to be happy is to know that life is filled with challenge. Life is opportunity mixed with challenge. For example, I just recently experienced a major setback in my corporation. We had three large investments that were set up. Everyone was saying, oh, these are going to go through. We even invested money to get these investments and 0% of them went through. It was an extremely improbable thing that that, was ha that would happen. Did I get depressed? No. Did it slow me down? No. Why is that? Because I know that in life you will experience challenges and the most important thing is not how you behave when you're doing well, but it's how you return from a setback. And the question is, where do you get that mentality? In the book that I'm releasing soon in quarter one of 2020, I talk about the black box, which is all of the experiences you've had during your lifetime. Me, I remember when I was a child, I was seven years old, my mother would take me selling candy door to door because we were poor so that I could make a couple bucks. And so I was a seven year old kid and every now and then you'd walk up to these doors and it'd be in these wealthy neighborhoods and it would have a little placard saying no soliciting, i.e. don't knock on my goddamn door trying to sell me shit. And my mother would say, what do you have to lose? Don't tell yourself no, make them tell you no. They might buy something. And I'd walk up to that door that was closed. I'd walk up to a closed door, knock on it, and I'd try to get everything that I wanted out of that door. And over time, spending years from age seven to eight to nine, knocking on closed doors. I know how to deal with a closed door. A setback is a closed door. Sometimes you show up and the door is open. You just walk in, opportunities laid out, red carpet, let's get it going. And that's how you tell a real hustler from a sucker. A sucker is someone who sees a closed door and says, oh, well, it says no soliciting. I got to pack it in. It's all over. A hustler is a person who comes upon a road. And when there's a fork, they figure out how to go down both sides of the road. When there's a roadblock, they figure out how to go over it, go around it, go under it. And that is the mentality that you must have. And you should know that from the pimping. Because the pimping is smooth. And the pimping does not sweat under pressure because we expect pressure. Michael Jordan's not great because he's a great basketball player. He's great because he's always a great basketball player, even under pressure. Kobe Bryant is extraordinary because when he had that rape case, my nigga was still getting buckets, you dig? And the point is that you perform when it's crunch time. That separates a great player from a champion, from a legend. So gentlemen, let me tell you, I don't give a shit about what you're going through. I don't have any sympathy for you. You shouldn't have any sympathy for yourself, baby. This is war time, this is game time. And the question is, are you a player? Are you a general? Are you gonna hop in that war and start whooping ass? I don't care what happened today. If you were in the boxing ring and you got knocked out, walk in that motherfucker tomorrow, strutting like you ain't never been knocked out and start whooping ass. Yiddy!